Welcome. Today's question is about fluid flow. Water flows through a horizontal pipe of varying cross-sectional area as shown in the figure below. Find the velocity of water at region B. Now we have a pipe with varying cross-sectional area. So for region A, it has a wider cross-section which is 100 square centimeters and region B has a narrower cross-section which is 75 square centimeters. We have it right there. In region A, water is flowing at a velocity of 2 meters per second and therefore we are required to get the velocity of water in region B. Before we continue, we need to take note that the volume flux in region A must be equal to the volume flux in region B. In other words, the rate of flow in region A equals the rate of flow in region B. And this simplifies to the equation of continuity, which is given by A1, V1 is equal to A2, V2, where A1 is the cross-sectional area of the wider part, and V1 is the velocity of water in the wider part, that is region A. And then A2 is the cross-sectional area of region B, and V2 is the velocity of water in region B. So already we are given A1 as 100 square centimeters, just like we've seen. A2 is 75 square centimeters, we have it right there. And V1 is 2 meters per second, and because we have these values in square centimeters, centimeters, I wish that you convert this in centimeters per second. So 2 meters is 200, so we have 200 centimeters per second. Now what you are left with to determine is V2, which is the velocity of water in region B. Now doing our substitutions in the equation of continuity, we will have, for the left hand side we have A1 times V1, which is 100 times 200, and that equals A2, which is 75, times V2. And since we are interested in V2, we are going to divide both sides by 75. So we are going to have 100 times 200, which is 20,000. And then we are going to divide both sides by 75. So 20,000 divided by 75, that should give us 266.67 centimeters per second. If you wish, you can convert this into meters per second by dividing it by 100, and that is 2.6667 meters per second. Remember, I'm dividing by 100 because 100 centimeters should be equivalent to 1 meter. And here we have the answer to the equation. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.